The American Payroll Association presents Pay News Network, bringing you news for professionals in payroll, accounts payable, human resources, benefits, finance, and accounting. Now, here is your host, APA Executive Director, Dan Maddox. Hi, and welcome to the November edition of Pay News Network. Here's great news for those of you that are working towards a college degree. Passing certain APA courses and earning payroll certification can make you eligible for college credits. Details from APA's Linda Stover. Beyond the knowledge you gain from APA education and the career value of payroll certification, you can also earn college credit. After an extensive review of APA programs, the American Council on Education, or ACE, has approved four association programs for college credit. In particular, if you complete a qualified program with a post-test score of at least 80%, you are eligible for certain credits. Here are the details. Successful completion of Payroll 101 Foundations of Payroll Certificate Program can confer three college credits in Payroll Accounting Lower Division. Successful completion of Payroll 201 Payroll Administration Certificate Program can confer three college credits in Payroll Accounting lower division and one credit in management upper division for a total of four college credits. As for certification, those who pass the exam for certified payroll professional and earn their CPP designation are eligible to receive up to 14 college credits. Those who pass the exam for fundamental payroll certification and earn their FPC designation are eligible to receive up to eight college credits. APA participates in the ACE Transcription Service, which provides a nationally recognized transcript you can send to any college or university for the potential award of academic credit. Bottom line, completing these select courses and achieving certification can help you earn a college degree. For more information, visit the ACE website at acenet.edu. Employers and employees can now access a free website for guidance on how to properly complete the Form I-9. The site is called I-9 Central, and it's loaded with tips on employment eligibility verification process. The online resource center was created by the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services and is part of its website. Go to uscis.gov I-9 Central. The agency has also made its e-verify web content available in Spanish. APA members can find details in Payroll Currently, Volume 19, Issue 6. It's a common occurrence. An employee resigns or is terminated and still has possession of the company's property. Can you hold the employee's pay until the property is returned? It's a hot topic. Here's APA's Director of Payroll Training, Larry White, CPP. You get a call from the sales department. Wilson just quit and he still has a company laptop. Can we hold his check until he returns it? Well, the answer is no. Federal law states that we must pay employees for all time they have worked. And state laws give us a limited time frame in which to pay those earnings. The next question we usually get is, can we make a deduction from Wilson's check to cover the cost of replacement? Generally, the answer is again, no. Unless we have made earlier arrangements and have Wilson's authorization to do so. In many cases, federal law keeps us from making deductions that reduce an employee's pay below the federal minimum wage. Some states have laws that cover deductions that can be even more restrictive. Here's a suggestion that may help. At the time your company provides an employee with property that's required to be returned upon termination, have the employee sign an authorization allowing payroll to make a deduction if the property has not been returned. You'll want to have your legal department create the document to cover all the legal aspects of federal, state, and local regulations. Having this signed authorization may be favorable if the employee decides to file suit against your company for making the deduction. It's a good idea to have such authorizations for anything from office keys to company cars. But you'll need to get the authorization in advance because it won't happen after the employee is gone. And that's what makes recovering company property a hot topic. Make plans now to attend APA's big 30th anniversary Congress in Orlando, May 6th to the 10th. The 2012 Congress offers more education than ever before. 
We've added extra workshops so you can earn up to 30 RCHs. Remember, if you register before the end of this year, you'll save $100. For complete Congress information, visit APA's website. Thank you for joining us on PNN. We'd love to hear from you. Email us at info at paynewsnetwork.org. Join us next time on Pay News Network. PNN Pay News Network is a service of the American Payroll Association. PNN is also available on YouTube. Go to youtube.com and search for Pay News Network.